In light of this outbreak of coronavirus, we have to fend for ourselves and cook for ourselves. So instead of going to your Ralph's or Whole Foods, which has a huge line of white people fighting each other for toilet paper, I went to the Mexican Canicera and I picked up a bunch of chili guayillo. Yes. When I asked for chili guayillo, the lady was like, are you, are you sure these are chili guayillo? I'm like, yes, a Chinese brother know what these are because I'm going to make some homemade enchilada sauce. <laughs> And enchiladas. So we've been letting this chili guayo boil for about five minutes. You see, it's all about pretty hydrated. But as you can see, your boy didn't do the best job deseeding here. So there's a lot of seed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out these chiles individually here, next to what I'm gonna put in the blender, the onion and the garlic. I'm just gonna try to minimize the seed exposure. Look, nobody's perfect, man. Every now and then, we're gonna get some with the seed. All right, so I got all my chilies here all fished out. Oh, there's a piece of seed here. Let me get rid of that. Got my strainer here. So I'm gonna pour this beautiful chili and chicken broth juice in the strainer to try to get rid of most of the seed. Let's see here. Oh yeah, see that? Well, I'm just gonna put everything in the blender here. You know, I gotta say, a tong is my favorite tool in the kitchen. It's just so grabby and fun, you know what I mean? It's like one of those uh, things you see on the infomercial where like you can grab stuff, you know, on the top shelves. And then I just chopped a quarter onion. I didn't chop it, I mean, it's just a quarter onion. Okay. And then about three cloves of garlic. But look, man, all these garlic and onion aromatics, you can eyeball this stuff however much you want, whatever you want. And now I'm gonna pour this beautiful chili chicken stock inside of here Ooh, that's good stuff man that's real good stuff yeah so i think there was about total three or four cups of liquids in there but once again you can eyeball it if it's too thick add more all right it's looking pretty good i have to put it in the puree section to get it popping you know what i mean all right so we got a beautiful sauce let's make the filling from the chicken i made earlier and just a little chopped onion it's gonna be very simple okay yeah, so you just kind of stir it around. You can really smell the onion. Get that action. Ooh, nothing better than just onions and hand-shredded chicken, dude. I mean, come on. Uh, what I used was chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast. You can use whatever, man. You can throw the whole carcass of chicken in there so you get a really good chicken broth. All this chicken is just from boiling it. That's it. That's really it. There's nothing to it, man. It's pretty simple because all the flavor is going to come from your fancy sauce over here. And then, of course, I'm going to add some queso fresco. Okay, this is my first time doing queso fresco. I think I did it wrong because I used the, like a very Western-style, American-style cheese grater. And it kind of just became too fine. So what I'm going to do, uh, you guys tell me if I'm doing this right. I'm just going to get a whole chunk of it and then just kind of crumble it with my hand. And that seems like more like the right consistency, you know? And I'm just gonna mix the two together, yes. Okay, so we got uh, queso fresco, the sauce, the chicken, and of course now we've got the tortilla. So I just oiled the pan just a little bit, and I've seen the real OGs do this, so I'm gonna do the same. They just dip in your tortilla, inside this beautiful sauce here, just like a simple little dip. Oh yeah, just kind of coat it, man. Oh, that's looking real nice. And then I'm gonna put in the pan. Let it fry for just a hot second. Oh, that's looking real nice. You see how it's turning all golden brown because of everything? See, one thing I don't understand with cooking shows, they never use like the ventilator. How do you not get that noise in? You know, that's very noisy. Okay, you know, I gotta bust out my chopsticks for this. So, now, here, I'm gonna grab some of this chicken. Put it on my enchiladas. More chicken. Oh, I need a little more than that. A little more chicken. Chicken. On my enchiladas. And now, I'm gonna grab a little fresco, queso fresco. Oh, that's looking real nice, man. Even that big chunky boy. Yes. So now I'm gonna wrap this baby up. Oh, this is kind of tough to do. Oh man. Oh man. I 
Man, I got this. Ah, ah, I think I might need two hands for this. I Hang gotta on. say, I'm real proud of myself. These two look real good over here, man. With some queso, with some chicken, and some onions. So now, from the Spanish rice that I made earlier, I'm just gonna put some of that in. You know, real easy like. Yes, yes, I like that. Oh yeah, get that rice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. It's got me a little black beans that magically appeared. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of more queso on top. Now I've seen this done in the restaurants, you know what I mean? And then you put it in the oven and I'm gonna melt this baby. You might as well, you know, might as well put some on the rice too. Live a little, you know what I mean? Just everything. Let's go. Add a little more of that chili sauce on there. Now, since I don't want a big operation, it's just a one plate meal. I'm just going to pop this plate inside this toaster, but mainly just to melt the cheese, you know? I, I don't know. I just eyeballed it like 350-ish on bake, about, you know, five minutes. We're going to see what happens with this guy. Ooh. Oh, okay. The plate doesn't fit. Hang on. Let me see. If, okay. Is that? Ah, see? Made it fit. Nope, now it doesn't close, shit. Okay, this has been in there for like eight minutes. I think it's pretty ready to go. I don't wanna dry out the sauce. That's looking good, man. Took this baby out of the oven. I mean, this is looking nice, man, but it's not done yet. I mean, you gotta put some of the cilantro in there. Oh yes, that looks good. And just to make a real fancy light, couple pieces of this, couple pieces like that, uh-huh. Now this is like a $25 plate at your own local Mexican restaurant. Ooh. I gotta take a picture in portrait mode for y'all, man. I mean, come on. Now for a little taste test. Ooh. Yeah, oh man, the sauce is real juicy. And then, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the chicken, and there's just a little cheese in. That looks real good. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good enchiladas, man. I can't lie. That is, that is good stuff. Yeah, it is nice. We did it, guys. We did it.